Today I fucked up by accidentally drinking caffeine. I have never intentionally consumed caffeine, ever. My mom wanted me to try a new drink, a buy drink, and so I did. I didn't realize until afterwards that it had as much caffeine as a cup of green tea. Oops. I have really bad anxiety, and constantly bounce my leg as an outlet for the excess nervous energy I have. My pulse is already high, 110 at rest, and I don't need any energy. On top of that, I have no built up tolerance for caffeine and some of my meds can interact with caffeine and amplify its effects. Today I have been a mess. I'm already jumpy, but become more more jumpy when anxious. Can't handle even a normal level of noise and having racing thoughts. I am having a great time. My hands are shaking enough that I can't crochet. I cannot understand why anyone would want caffeine, though I know it doesn't affect everyone this way. TL, doctor accidentally drank caffeine, have no tolerance, anxiety is through the roof and into the heavens. It doesn't affect everyone that way. I have ADHD and I feel the way you do without caffeine, I need it in order to make my mind focus. I'm late to this, but in case anyone else sees this and needs advice, deep breathing. Deep breathing exercises. I have an anxiety disorder and am extremely caffeine intolerant. Deep breathing has been the only thing to get me through it. I feel you. I am allergic to caffeine and every time I try to see if it still doesn't agree with me, I'm sick, throwing up and shaking for hours. Exclamation mark. Eat a high protein slash fat snack like peanut butter toast, drink some water and if possible take a walk to burn off some of the restless energy. Jog in place or do some lunges or sit ups if you can't go outside where you are. Expend energy however you can and stay hydrated. Caffeine is a diuretic and you'll pee more so drinking water is important. Ground yourself. Make something you can see, something you can smell, something you can feel, something you can taste, something you can hear, every time the thoughts race, it will pass. You are okay. Not trying to add to your anxiety but if you haven't already you should see a doctor about your resting heart rate at some point. Tachycardia is the term for a resting heart rate over 100 BPM and while it can be benign there can also be very severe complications when left untreated including heart failure, stroke, and cardiac arrest. Wishing you the best. Today I fucked up by asking my GF to send me some sexy pics. This happened a few years ago, but my then GF, now wife, recently reminded me of it. I had been asking her to surprise me with some nude pics because I thought it would be fun to do something a little risky. I was saying hey it would be awesome if you could send me a text, a DM, or email with a pic of something naughty. After a week or two of asking and not getting anywhere I finally gave up. Out of the blue on a Wednesday morning at 10 am I get an email, to my personal email, from my GF with the subject line question for you. At the time, I worked in open office space with people directly next to, and behind me. They are within arm distance and there is no such thing as privacy here. I also have two monitors big 24 inches monitors. I open my personal email on a monitor, open the question for you email and all of a sudden, tits. Just big tits on the screen. With the message question for you, do you like these? She didn't mark the email NSFW nor did she just attach the image so it comes in small as an attachment. She just copied and pasted the image right into the text box so it full blown as the email is open. I can't find my mouse cursor to close the browser. I see the people next to me and behind me start to laugh looking right at my screen with the gigantic tits on it. I finally get the browser closed down and everyone is laughing their heads off. I go home, and of course my GF says, did you get my email? You never responded. And I of course told her the story about how about a dozen co-workers saw her tits on my computer screen. She was not thrilled and perma banned any future sexy picture sending. I told her I appreciated the email but to NSFW tag would have been nice. Too long didn't read, asked my GF, now wife, to send me some nude pics. I unsuspectingly opened up the image at work and a dozen co-workers saw her tits on my computer screen. Alt plus F4 is a reflex you didn't develop during your teens.
Emailing a nude is a lot of work versus just texting it. I find that emailed nudes are higher ease. Oh I might just have a shitty phone. Since your co-workers all got to see them, it's only fair we get to see them too. Post them up. That's an awesome story bro. You sound like as if you think it was her mistake. Today I fucked up by thinking a movie was being creative. Today I was watching a movie with my boyfriend and we were impressed the an interesting artistic choice made by the creator. Throughout the movie the main character was made to believe that she was losing her mind. As it went on increasingly strange things were happening to the main character. Eventually, we noticed that the audio wasn't matching up with the picture. We mutually decided it was probably an artistic choice to represent the disassociation the character was experiencing. As the movie progressed, the subtle audio lag began to become more noticeable and we decided to exit out of the movie just to make sure Netflix wasn't glitching. Sure enough when we turned the movie back on audio was back in sync and our disappointment in the movie skyrocketed. It was already pretty bad, but we were willing to at least acknowledge the interesting direction they took with the audio. Ha. Too long didn't read, we thought a glitch on Netflix was a creative decision. This is literally hilarious. My dad once tried to convince us the interesting colors were an artistic decision, rather than checking the TV was correctly plugged. We never let him forgot about that one. Now imagine the level of depth if it were a Nolan movie. What movie? Extraction. Was iffy going into the movie, but we were bored lol.